I'm John Sage, founder and president of Sage Traveling. Rome is one of the more challenging destinations for disabled travelers visiting Europe. Uh, with the, the numerous hills, the, the severe cobblestones, and, and few accessible public transportation options, it can be a challenge to visit with a disability. Uh, we've done extensive research so that we can make that uh, trip to Rome as easy as possible for you. Uh, what I'm showing here is an accessibility packet that we provide to all of our uh, disabled uh, clients that will give you all the tips and tricks to make your, your uh, trip as easy as possible. Uh, we start off with just a, a general overview of accessibility in Rome. This is the central part of Rome that explains where the accessible, uh, the most accessible streets are with the best sidewalks and have the least amount of cobblestones, uh, and where the, the, the severe cobblestones are located, and, and where the flat uh, neighborhoods in Rome are, are located. Uh, to get around Rome, you'll also need to, to use accessible transportation because the, the tourist sites are quite spread out from the, the train station uh, far in the east uh, going to the, the Colosseum and over to the Vatican, uh, you'll need some transportation to get around. It's too far to, to walk or roll um, but between all the tourist attractions. This is an example of one of the, the accessible bus routes that, that you can use to, to get around, and it shows the, the exact location of the bus stops to get from the Victor Emmanuel Monument, which is near the Pantheon, over to uh, the Vatican. Uh, we have numerous bus routes that we can provide and, and tell you which to use to, to get between the tourist attractions. Um, in Rome, there are also small uh, electric buses that are somewhat wheelchair accessible. They have a, a very steep ramp and they normally don't pull up to a curb, uh, but we'll, we'll provide you with those locations. That's another option for getting around town. Uh, the third bus option is the accessible bus tour, uh, which, is, which is a great way to see the city and, uh, and also to, to get around town. It does loop through most of the, the tourist attractions, and we'll tell you exactly where you can get on and off that bus. Uh, planning your trip um, and, and planning your time in Rome can be uh, a challenge, and so what we actually provide you with is multiple accessible itineraries to choose from, and they are step-by-step -step to cho show you uh, which attractions to, to visit. Uh, they ensure that you're not going uphill, you're either going flat or downhill, and that you're avoiding cobblestones as much as possible. For each of the itineraries, we include the, the, the route on a map, um, labels showing where you can have lunch, where you can have dinner, um, and the, the distances that you'll need to travel between attractions and restaurants. Uh, these are just more examples showing the, the various routes that you would encounter on, on your day visiting uh, different attractions such as the Trevi Fountain, Pantheon, Piazza Navona, Spanish Steps. For each of the major tourist attractions in Rome, we provide detailed descriptions of the accessibility. Uh, this example is the Capitoline Museums located near the Roman Forum. Uh, what you'll see here, this is an aerial image showing you where the, the easiest uh, approach is going up the hill, uh, or you can have a, a taxi drop you off up at the top, uh, and some, some images, photos taken from that hill. Uh, this is actually a, a great spot right here to, to view the Roman Forum from above. Uh, the Capitoline Museums, like a, a lot of tourist attractions, are a little bit tricky to find the accessible entrance. And so we provide uh, aerial images and, and uh, photos on the ground to show you exactly where the accessible entrances are at the museum. There's actually two entrances because the, the museums are housed in two different buildings. Uh, Italian food is, is uh, definitely a, a highlight for many tourists, and, and we'll, we'll show you exactly where the best uh, options are for finding accessible uh, dining and accessible restaurants. Uh, there are several different areas in Rome that, that are, are generally very good, particularly with accessible outdoor uh, dining options. Uh, shopping is also a, a priority for, for many uh, visitors to Rome, and, and we'll let you know where the, the most accessible stores are uh, that you can visit. Uh, you may have seen on our website some of the pictures of the accessible hotels that we recommend. 
there's actually um, different strategies depending on your type of disability. If you are in a motorized wheelchair or a mobility scooter, we recommend uh, some of the areas in the very center of town, uh, near the, the, the Pantheon and near the Trevi Fountain. If you're a manual wheelchair user, we actually recommend other neighborhoods near the, the Colosseum and the Vatican where there's, it's flatter and there's less cobblestones and manual wheelchair users will have an easier time. Uh, we will take care of all the, the hotel reservations for you as well as uh, the very best in accessible tours of the Vatican, uh, the historical city center, and the, the ancient ruins. Uh, we look forward to, to helping make your accessible trip to Rome the very best it can be.